Hi everyone, happy Tuesday. So today I have been filming a video that I was meant to film before <laughs> and I haven't filmed it yet and it needs to go up tomorrow. So I just need to edit that. Um, and I'm pretty sure I said in the last two day vlogs that you would have seen it. So hopefully you will have seen it, but I will link it in the description. It's the one where I drew plants. So yeah, I've just drawn the plants here. I was a little bit ambitious. I thought I could draw lots of plants and I thought I could talk at the same time, but that was a little bit difficult and I ended up taking longer to draw them than I thought. But yeah, I had fun. I had fun doing it. And like I said, I want to draw in my sketchbook more. So I've done that. The other thing that I have done today is which is in oh a different sketchbook which is on the floor um so i have signed up for the make art that sells um it's the editorial illustration um course i didn't say it was a course um but yeah and i'm really excited to take part in it and yesterday they did a Facebook Live and they just told us what like the first assignment was gonna be. So the first thing, it's just, you don't even have an article, it's just for a word and, um, or, or two words really, so which is a uh, broken heart or broken hearted. So I'm really pleased with what I've done actually. I'll show you the, my first initial sketches. So you will see that they are very, like obvious to start so and I think sometimes it's good to kind of just draw the obvious thing that comes into your head first of all so that it's just done and out there and you know just because you've drawn that that doesn't need to be you know the final thing so yeah I've just I've drawn a heart with a like crack through it and then one that's shattered and I've drawn a hammer and I've done little kind of notes to myself as well um then I was kind of thinking about like maybe tools that you know because I was thinking about breaking a heart and then putting it back together again and then I was sort of thinking like doctor things like a stethoscope and an x-ray and then I was thinking of like maybe doing a wind up clock and um and then we we had the chat and they were talking lots about body language so and talking about like how you feel if you're broken hearted so i've done lots of people kind of curled up in like the fetal position and then i thought maybe i could do it so that there's two people and they're kind of in like a broken heart and they're each in their own half um but yeah i thought that that were um, blurry now um, yeah, I thought that that would be quite a fun idea and also just to show the kind of two sides of being broken hearted. So, you know, it might not just be one sided, both people might be kind of upset about it. And yeah, so I had that sketch and, um, and then this, I, I did a bit of drawing on the computer, printed this out and then kind of scribbled on it and trying to work out colours and I've made a few more notes on here and I was thinking I wanted to do some kind of like pattern or something in the background but at the same time keep it subtle but I kind of wanted something in the backgrounds just so that yeah the, it was just quite a rich image um but yeah so I was thinking about doing this kind of zigzaggy pattern as you know to kind of emphasize the split into-ness of it um and then I had a bit more of a play around and I've done this which yeah I'm really pleased with the the composition of it so basically this is kind of like I was sort of thinking about like shattered glass or shattered plates and kind of like exploding from the middle and um but yeah I, I i think i have i know i haven't finished it yet but um i think it's it's coming along quite well and it's interesting like i wasn't planning on drawing a piece like this so i think yeah having kind of like a prompt thing 
can can be um yeah really helpful to sort of think about things you wouldn't usually think of and like work in in ways you wouldn't think of but yeah it's right at the beginning of this course but I'm already really excited to do it so yeah I've got that to do and I have to do it by Thursday although now I think I'm gonna just um I need to do a voiceover for the plant thing I think I might need to go make myself a cup of tea as well just to <laughs> make sure I've uh, I've got something to keep me going, keep myself hydrated. Um, but yeah, so that's what I'm going to be up to. So I will catch up with you later. Bye. Good morning. It is Wednesday. I have to think about what day it is. Um, I'm feeling tired as it seems to be that this is a little bit of a pattern. I'm sounding croaky, sorry. Um, yeah, it seems to be a pattern that every week when it's early and I get up early with Tom I end up feeling tired because I don't go to bed early enough but um yeah I sound I sound very croaky I think I don't know I'm feeling a little bit run down but I'm fine um I think I'm gonna actually have a bath and just kind of chill for a little bit and drink lots of tea and eat some oranges and I'll be okay um but yeah so I'm gonna have a bath and then I'm gonna do the illustration that I showed you yesterday so I'm gonna do that um with my coloured pencils and yeah because I need to get that done by tomorrow and I want to like put it up there's like um, a Facebook group for the make art that sells community so yeah I um, want to get that all finished um what else oh there is a plant jungle behind me currently um although these aren't all gonna stay here because I need to put them back in their various homes there's just that one in the pink pot and and that one they're staying there and the rest need to move back to their homes and because <laughs> but yeah you go downstairs and there's lots of kind of like plant like empty holes and it's like oh <laughs> so yeah need to do that and it, well maybe I need to buy even more plants because that actually looks really nice behind me but yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna have a little chill in my bath and then I will carry on and do that drawing <laughs> My tears are salty streams Tributaries that
So I've been working on my illustration for the Make Art That Sells uh, assignment and yeah, I'm really pleased with it so far. And I was gonna do a black background and I've done these little tests. I quite like printing out a few different um, of like the rough on like sort of nine on a sheet. Um, yeah, I was planning on doing a black background, but actually I'm looking at it with the white background and I really think, yeah, I think it looks really good with the white background. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to, yeah, I think I'm going to keep going. Yeah, I was going to make the middle section blue, so like kind of the shards of glass were going to be blue, but actually I think I might. I might keep them red just more as if it's like the heart that's breaking that seems to kind of make more sense and then yeah then I'll scan it in and edit it possibly not today we'll see it's getting kind of late um but yeah and then I can see you know I can always change the background afterwards but yeah I think it's uh, it's looking quite well I think with the white backgrounds and I've actually given them blue faces as well because they're sad so <laughs> yeah I think it's going well and I've been watching Gilmore Girls um which is really good to listen to actually yeah I've, I've mostly obviously just been listening to it because I've been concentrating on my drawing but um the dialogue in Gilmore Girls is just so good so yeah I've been listening yeah watching slash listening to that so yeah I think I I need to make another cup of tea we need to think about what to have for dinner soon I don't know what to cook mm, and I really want pasta we don't have any pasta and I also want pizza we don't have any pizza either I'm sad anyway gonna make a cup of tea gonna keep watching Gilmore Girls and carry on with this illustration. I walked to the shops and I bought some pasta and I'm very happy because I like pasta and we kept forgetting <laughs> to buy pasta every time we went to the shops. So yeah, I'm cooking dinner. Hopefully it won't be too long. But um, sometimes I find I feel less hungry when I start cooking because you, like when it smells good, you kind of, <laughs> it's almost like you're eating it. But yeah. I feel good now I know what I'm having for dinner. ...is to venture out at the Iron Fort again, because maybe she is one of those rare humans who learn from their mistakes. I'm also going to make a bunch of pesto. So I've got a load of basil, which smells really nice. And it's the recipe that's on the Minimalist Baker. And I usually end up using walnuts. You can use, like, I think it says pine nuts or walnuts, or you can probably use some other nuts as well um but we tend to have walnuts in more so it's this some walnuts some nutritional yeast which is like a secret ingredient in lots of vegan uh, sort of like cheesy things and saucy things and what else a bit of lemon juice and that's pretty much it so yeah I'm gonna make some pesto as is the way of warriors having made himself feel better about one worry he immediately started to worry about something else 
Zahn wished for magic and he got it, and it is bad magic indeed. I think this is pretty much done. Or maybe like one minute just to get rid of a little bit of the liquid because I put a little bit too much water in this basil. just caught a spider um which i'm gonna let outside um yeah i am the spider catcher in this house tom is at work so he hasn't seen this but he <laughs> he does watch my videos so look tom i saved you from the spider so it's still friday there haven't been any more spider sightings so i think we're safe <laughs> and i've just been making a few sort of alterations to the broken heart illustration that I finished yesterday so I finished it and then today I've been thinking oh maybe I will try it like with a dark background and change like the colors of the shattered glass so um yeah so I've tried it with a black background a gray background a kind of navy blue background um and then I've also tried changing the kind of shard bits from red to blue and yeah I actually really like like them blue and I think the one that I'm sold on now I will put it on the screen the blue shards of glass and then a light blue background um but yeah I think that just it it kind of brings it all together nicely because obviously I've done them sort of with like a blue tone to their skin and like their clothes are blue as well and um, and then also I just think that it makes the actual heart shape just sort of stand out a little bit more but yes yeah, so I've been doing those and I've been standing further back <laughs> from my desk just to sort of see um like does it look good or I guess I could have just like shrunk it down smaller maybe to sort of see if it worked at like a thumbnail, thumbnail size and what else oh yeah so how I changed it because obviously you saw me drawing this in pencil I changed the colors of the like shards just by I did a new layer and then used the paint bucket and just picked a blue color that I liked and then I just used the blending options and I used the one that was colour, which worked quite nicely. Yesterday we had the the next Facebook Live um, chat for the course, and they've given us the next assignment, which is due on Tuesday. So yeah, I think I'm gonna have a go at doing that now. show you what I've been working on for the next assignment I haven't finished it I've just been doing some little doodly things in my sketchbook and I think I want to redraw them we were told not to do like a whole scene but we can make them like finished illustrations and I think I want to like you know put the most work into it so we have a bunch of like words that we have to illustrate so i've done one of the ones was cats so i've done a cat sitting on a book either like a notebook and you're trying to write or you're trying to read something and then another one was great so i was thinking of either doing a badge and then i thought about doing like a mug so it says you're great and then i thought it'd be cool to have like some happy flowers coming out so one of the prompts was to draw either a man or a woman so i thought i would draw a man and a woman so can you see this so this is me and tom and this was um 
like one of our fancy dress things where I dressed up as a fairy. Tom is actually being um, Phantom of the Opera, so he's got his mask up there. But this was drawn from one of my favourite photos, and I actually have it as like our screen, um, the screensaver on the computer. And we don't, we don't have legs in the photo, but I've. I've drawn some legs so I'm kind of pleased that you know they look vaguely like legs they're probably not you know exactly in proportion or like atomically correct but I'm, I'm quite happy with that and yeah I think I'm gonna sign off the vlog now because it's getting late and my uh, battery keeps flashing um, at me on the camera so yeah I really hope you enjoyed this vlog and do the usual thing give it a like and subscribe and hit the bell and I will see you in the next video bye